Hey guys, I wanted to do a little bit of an introduction to this series because I didn't do one properly during the stream. So I am playing Lord DZ's three-player Wings of Liberty co-op, and I am doing it all myself by Archon Mode. This means that I control three bases as three players. Unfortunately, I do not get three sets of upgrades. I have to stick to one, and I do not get the normal 130 supply per player. Instead, I get 300 total. I am playing on the Madness difficulty, which is 50% increased damage in addition to the much harder version of the game, and I'm playing with Evil Tactics enabled, which don't really make that big of an appearance in Wings of Liberty, however in Heart of the Swarm and Legacy of the Void, they definitely step that difficulty up another notch. In addition to the regular campaign stuff, this has extra upgrades from the laboratories and from the armory, so there's a lot of really crazy and cool stuff you can do, and Predators might just be viable. With that said, I won't take your time any longer, I hope you enjoy the video in a game that doesn't have any sort of save load system, that's bad. If you have a save load system and there's a way for you to go, oh, okay, I have to react to this, it's a lot more acceptable in my opinion. But I'm not going to play through 20 minutes of the dig again, my, one of my least favorite missions, just to hope that I can kill a couple destroyers. Kill the tank before it sieges up. There we go. That's the problem that we had in the three-player one. Thanks for the assist. We're with you, Raider. Talk to me. He's in the back. Jim is actually pretty damaged at this point. I gotta be very careful with him. Does this person have to live? All heroes must survive. Hmm. I might be dead. I don't want this guy to take damage. We'll put Samantha in the front. No healing is definitely pretty rough. I don't know if this game has resumed from replay. I will try when I eventually lose. This is bad. It's the plan. Hmm. This is bad, Jim. You are correct. Oh, I'm gonna kill the holoboard. I don't know if there's any value for killing the holoboards, but I like to believe that every good custom campaign gives you a reason to do this bonus. Preferably like a full heal. Time to Or something. You know, Sounds a full like heal would be good. You gonna give me we gotta put the damage marines in the front, or the healthy marines in the front, the damage marines in front of that, and then the heroes in the back. Let's give it a go. Now there's just the truck. Okay, we got the truck. Now can we finish off with the civilians? We knew you wouldn't forget us. There's more people still being held up ahead. Does mean I have a 390 supply army? Yeah, I believe so because the supply limit is 130 per character in this one. Been a while since we saw you around here. Okay. Oh gosh. What's the plan? Oh, they start fighting early. That's good. Usually you have to cross this line, but they were pissed today. So we have to fight with our insurgent bros, which means that we gotta blow up these things. Simultaneous. Get them to tank. Got it. Very low HP on all the heroes, but that's okay. Are these actual people? Are Samantha Wise and... David, Lord, or whatever, StarCraft characters from, like, the novels or something? I didn't think they might be. Okay, and then at the end of every mission, we get, uh... Upgrades and stuff. Take care of yourself, folks. I hope everyone is taking care of themselves and social distancing as much as Paul. <laughs> oh, okay. We don't get anything to... Upgrade at that point, though. So this one's a bit jank because it doesn't have a launcher, so we have to go through them. But the bank file does transfer between missions, so the upgrades and stuff we get will continue. And I have to reset the difficulty every time. Arco mode evil. Okay. Now we get medics. Medics are going to be good.
you don't think I need to set the control settings, it's one button press to not have to flip a coin. So I'm going to not flip a coin <laughs> with my button press. Okay, I remember this mission being plenty hard. You gonna get these up here. I'm going to create a full wall off real quick. J. Bruno Synergy and I we'll got, like, absolutely marine. murdered when we played this the first time. It was All not right, even close. SCVs will help us harvest minerals faster. Train them up at the command center. Yeah, I'm interested to see if this is going to be easier and harder than when I did it with two friends. Theoretically, if I'm perfect, it should be easier because, well, I guess then I'm perfect, so obviously. Hey, here they come already. Try to pull them into a nice little position. That was a good fight. Try to get all this money going. Because, not to be offensive to anybody that played with me in it, but I'm definitely the highest level player of that three-player thing, so I might be able to make some magic happen, but there's a lot more to micromanage. However, build, building is going to be a lot easier than the last one we did, but my flexibility, I believe, is a lot lower. Right? So, in the last campaign that we did... I had the ability to pick various texts to fill each other's gaps, and I'm not going to have that here. I'm just going to be playing a Terran. And I'm not going to be able to split my texts with my allies so that we can have a lot of bases covered. So I don't really know how that balances itself out. I know the enemy is very aggressive, though, on this game mode. Uh, probably two gases are okay. I don't want too many medics. And there's no upgrades, no 1122 on? on this mission. Yeah, Blink Thors were. <laughs> and Blink Predators. So, fun fact after we played through this campaign, I had a specific upgrade that I had been harping that I thought should really, really be in the game. And he added it. So, I'm really excited for that one. It is a mercenary style that gives you unlimited charges of mercenaries and makes the mercenaries cool down faster. I'm really looking forward to playing mercenary style. Because that's my baby. Oh, yeah, we can't break that yet. We need a lot more stuff. One thing to note is because we're taking 50% extra damage due to the difficulty modifier, I do not have the ability to fight Marine versus Marine very well. And there's a lot of crazy mercenaries in this campaign. Unless they got removed, which would be really weird. So, we are definitely going to see some awesome merc mode, I'm hoping. Like, there was the battlecruiser that acts as a carrier, and... That's really the one that I remember, I don't remember anything else, but... There was a battlecruiser that acted as a carrier. I do not need this. I'm going to wait for them to attack one more time, and then I'm going to try to push up here and take that area out. 50% is going to make armor upgrades near useless, absolutely. It's same as Heart of the Swarm, where armor upgrades are very rarely worth the price. One of the things we're actually doing with the randomizer is we are going to make the armor upgrades cheaper for Heart of the Swarm because they were too expensive, and they weren't actually worth getting. But you know what? Extra gas for me. I can spend it on something cool. You know, treat myself. Are they not attacking again? They have to attack. Every time that I get like this and I start getting antsy, they're preparing to murder me. That's just how it goes. But I want to move out. I feel good. Here we go. I knew it. Pull him into the choke. Take the fight. Yep, this is what we gotta do, is good positioning to just mow through them. Now this area is gonna be a little bit tougher, but we have so much stuff, I think it's gonna be alright. Just go stutter step. There we go. And that is a bunch of Kasharuha. So I'm interested to see if we actually get to that 390 supply 
or if we're stuck at 200. Because if we're stuck at 200, that's going to be a huge nerf compared to playing with three people. Basically half the army supply. Maybe even less because of workers. Save our boys. Because a bunker of death. Those folks need our help, Tigers. There's no way we're leaving them to rot. Swing up here. So we got the bonus. That's pretty good. There's a bunch of money over here. Just tell us where you want us. And we're going to prepare for our final strike, hopefully. Unconvinced it'll actually be the final strike. I like this mission. I don't know why. It's just like very simple and you just get to die to a siege tank apparently. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm never afraid of being counterattacked and counterattack anxiety is such a big thing. Here, they're pulling over to kill my medic, so if I pull them back, that helps. Finish this off. Nice job cleaning out that bunker, Jimmy. Between your boys and my skills, we are gonna go a long way. Oh goodness, that's a sieging tank. And that's his brother Wilbur. Wilbur's been present a lot recently. He has a lot of jobs in the Dominion. See if we can take down their production structures. Oh, very low on units, gonna move away from the tank. But the combat force is very low. I have a lot of medics. Okay, now we're going to do... This is a tip that I talked about in the Mass Recall playthrough recently, where you hit a building, and then you hit Stop Command, and you will attack that building specifically until someone that is a combatant comes into range, and then you'll start attacking that combatant instead. It's a really nice tool to help target fire a building, but if something pops out of it, you can stop it. I'm going to build two depots to see if my supply cap's at 200, because that's going to change my upgrade strategy a lot. I don't think I can go bio very long if that is the case. I'll have to go into mechy stuff. Cool. So then we target that, hit S. Target that, hit S. And finish off this one. Got it. 209. You're right, we can get up to 390. That is going to be a lot of army. That was fun. And now we have five research points. You can see in the top right, it's the... But we can't spend them yet. I wonder if those five research points were from the first bonus objective. 390 supply of hero battle cruisers. Oh, they still have a cooldown time. You can't just buy them willy nilly, I think. Zero hour. Madness difficulty, Archon mode, evil tactics, go. How far in is the infant merc upgrade? I have no idea. I've only played this once, and it was well over a year ago. By well over a year ago, I mean I believe it was a year and a month ago. <laughs> well over a year. I like... So, this is a tiny thing, but I really appreciate it. It keeps your hotkeys, or rather, it hotkeys your initial starting structures, which is just very kind. What are these depots? That's not bunkers. I don't like that. So I start out with all three of my command centers hockeyed, and that's just really, really kind. I'm gonna try to bring my racks together. Yeah, so we are not taking the low ground. It'd be insane. 
Okay, get this all saturated. Very weird that you don't get an engineering bay here. Even though you normally do. And then we're going to make marines. We're going to make three base, mass marine, as if we're playing marines only. Here they come. Lock and load. Not really a reason to save that. At all. I don't know why I did it. I just took some damage on my marines for no reason. Bring it up to 45 workers. To anyone hearing this message, we're pinned down near backwater station. All right, let's go. We need a little bit more for those extra workers, and then I need to start working on my infrastructure. I don't need gas because all I want is the armor upgrade after this, and there's some gas right up here. And I am going to try to do every bonus objective because you do get unlocks for that here. Six more racks. That seems good for now. Then I need to work on my depots. I'm going to try to put depots around here because I don't know how drop pods work, but I assume that they can't land inside of a depot. Probably is a bold assumption that is incorrect. But I like to believe it. Then we got the armor upgrade. For whatever reason. Uh, do we need medics? ETA? Probably. Yeah, I'll get one racks of medic. It'll be that one. Oh my goodness, those mute is melted. The meltalisk. And that is full saturation. If it gets too easy, I'll try to clear the map. We'll see. I don't know. Zero Hour is an incredibly inconsistent mission in terms of difficulty. And I don't want to get myself killed, but I also don't want to be bored. I think my biggest foe in this is going to be the depots that I need to constantly be building. Are you kidding? Why would sh Mine from the correct side, you dunces. I was wondering why my gas income was so low. <sighs> Silly guys. Let's uh let's wall this off so that doesn't happen again. And just keep pushing these guys out. I think I can do better if I just have more room for Marines. SCVs are under attack. Mayday, mayday. Watch out by the Zerg. They're burrowed all around. Oh gosh, there's my in my mineral line. The doctor is in. I'm gonna need to get some Rudy Tootie point and shooties, whatever they're called. Missile the turrets. We could use some help here. Gateway coming through. Rescue our friends, build a lot of these. Gonna leave my rally at home. Are we losing mineral fields? Yeah, we are. We lost a couple. Oh. I should not have gone up there. There's one more bonus objective. I'm just gonna stick a marine on it. Never mind. Base. One more bonus objective. I'm going to save it for the proper time that you're supposed to get it. What'd they kill? I have no idea. I need to repair my SCVs at these mineral... Okay, I did repair these. I did repair these. It's just this one that's damaged. That's a lot of guys coming in. Oh, it's just Zerbals. Thank you. 
I need a second medic factory. It was a random missile turret. Huh. Just imagine the timing. Someone times it out properly so the, the Mutalisk attack wave gets <laughs> killed by it. Not killed, but uh, mildly inconvenienced by it. The ultimate timing. I've yeah, been neglecting my depot duty. Because I've been pushing these turrets out. And then I'll try to surround them so they can't get linged. Or repaired. Didn't think about that one, did you, Grant? <laughs> yeah, we're not going to build that there. Let's get a uh, couple more turrets. There, safe. Now we're at 200, we keep going up. Where are these going? Keep at it, boys. The ride's on its way. Okay. I hope they don't do that very often. Ah, I'm so bad at targeting Banes. I'll never be Clem. That's an Ultralisk. Yeah, it's better to just aim move the Banes, isn't it? We got nine minutes remaining. And minerals are running lower than I would like. So is Marine Count. All right, let's get our last friend. They're worth it. And then we have to figure out how to not die against Bane Links. Oh, whoa. Oh, are you kidding? At least we got our two missile turrets to help. Oh gosh, we're getting farmed. This be good. Go, go, go. Pull back. Use the Marines as a distraction so they don't get to the economy. And then hit from behind. Somehow they have their roaches up in front, which is impressive. Well, I just lost like 20 or 30 Marines for nothing right there. That could be game over. I hope it's not. At least we have vision of their proxy spines. <laughs> we can barely produce out of all of these still. I have a feeling we're not going to be able to produce in a bit. I'm going to set up a special hotkey that has all of my floating buildings in it for safety. Let's hope that it doesn't come to using it. Hmm. Okay, they found that area. That's a shame, because I did like seeing that. I guess it doesn't matter. We still have vision of the area right next to it. We had a lot of weird vision on this mission. Even after the houses die, you still get vision. This mission's always about five minutes too long. I get to here, and I was having a good time, and then I'm like, you know what? We could be done. I would be okay moving on. Oh gosh, I heard the sound of a death. You know what? Save the money. Hold out just a little longer. We'll be getting out of here soon. No, if we go try to kill the bases, we'll lose. Mineral field. And that's the problem, is 
The bases are tough to the point where when things are like this, you'll just die to them and there's nothing else to do. Because I do remember the end of this. Because there's a Twitch clip of it. And it's just insane. Base is under attack. Okay, we dealt with that. Uh, they're going after our tech labs. Oh, oh that's too much. Oh, yeah. Well, now we're dead. There's like no money here. So that's a bit stressful. Yeah, we don't. I hate Bailing so much. Go fight! I told you to fight! <sighs> I don't know if resume from replay works, but I do know that I'm gonna go hide in the corner and hope. I hope it does, because I know exactly what happened. There was that, and then there was like 50 Banelings that just killed all my stuff. Because Baneling is the best designed unit in StarCraft. Base. I just hope they don't send too many Mutas. Yeah, like six or seven is fine. Our SCVs are under attack. Maybe they won't find me. I mean, if they don't send any mutas, that's going to be very disappointing. Uh? Okay. <laughs> Just hold on. Cavalry's on the way. Yeah, nobody snitch. No rush. I've never seen the AI just give up on this mission before. Usually they know exactly where you are. Is this area a safe spot? Like this exact corner? Or is it just this mission specifically? Well, Zero Hour remains an enigma to me. It is the epitome of the worst and the worst mission in StarCraft. But luckily, it's over in four seconds. That was weird. Yeah, Matt, we're doing fine. If you want to, like, take a break or something, I really don't mind. <laughs>